Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my November monthly favorites. Grab a snack, grab a glass of wine, a glass of tea, cup of tea, cup of coffee. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at the end of this video. And if you're new, I'm Serene. Thanks for watching. And these are all the products I've been loving for the last month. First things first is this Institutum Alive Water. I really enjoy this Alive Water. It is the most refreshing, hydrating, mineral water spray. And I like to use this as a toner, it's alcohol free, or I can use it to refresh my makeup throughout the day or just refresh my skin. I think you'll really like this because look at this fine mist. Like, can you even see that? It's like the perfect fine mist. It doesn't leave any weird droplets over your makeup and it just does a really beautiful job at hydrating the skin without being too wet. I also like their eye cream and this is a traditional kind of eye cream formula and texture. It's water-based. It is a cream but it doesn't affect my milia which is always something I am concerned about with any type of eye product. It also is very hydrating. It absorbs really quickly. It helps with any of my puffiness and dark circles. Um, I believe I still have a discount code that's good for the rest of the month. Wanted to try anything out from Institutum, I will find that discount code and link it in the description box. I did a cool little skincare routine for them on my Instagram and it's 20% off. So that's not a affiliate code, it's just a discount code for you guys if you want to try the products out. If you watched my recent video of a really realistic get ready with me fast out the door like no time at all i featured skin pie which is a indie skincare line i was really impressed by their cushion compact i have tried a lot of different cushion compacts one of my favorite ones is from solowasu solowasu is a very lightweight one and not a lot of coverage this one is like really amazing coverage and the price point is a little bit easier to bear on your wallet. This is under $40. Applicator that comes in this compact is the best one I have encountered. It is the perfect thickness. It picks up the product beautifully and it just applies everything really nicely. Light medium and it's actually light medium. You know how a lot of Asian skincare lines, they'll do light medium and it's actually like fair. I love how pigmented it is and how full coverage it can be. There's SPF 50. It's really hydrating. So if you're a little bit on the oilier side, I definitely recommend powdering. The coverage is just intense. And if you want to see that video, you can see like it looks more covered than some of my foundations that I have. There's like a lot of really good ingredients. There's no dimethicone. There's no silicones or mineral oils and it has SPF 50. It's a really good all-in-one product at a pretty fair price, and it's indie brand, so I always like to support an indie brand whenever possible. Love, love, love this compact. I think it's a really good buy. Along with Skin Pie, I have their lip elixirs, and these, a lot of you guys say, are similar to the Juicy Shakers, which I agree. However, I feel like these are a little bit more affordable and a little bit more hydrating, compared to the original Juicy Shakers. So while I love the Lancome Juicy Shakers, I think these are a more affordable, but just as good, if not better quality, in terms of a skin elixir. So they're really fun, you shake them up, and it's like a, ooh, you kind of just tap. And they're really fun to reapply throughout the day. I, I just really enjoy these. And the Juicy Shakers, I did buy one, I think I bought two, but they kind of just went bad, and these are $16, so I just think they're a better buy in the long run. I was sent these in the mail. This is from Wamisa by Glow Recipe, and this is available at Target. I recently was at Target and I saw this. They're really good. This is the Green Tea Foaming Cleansing Gel. This removes a lot more of my SPF and makeup in one wash than most cleansers do. It was gentle, it was lightweight, it wasn't stripping, and the ingredients are pretty decent as well, and you can find this at Target, which I thought was really awesome. It smells really fresh too. You can actually see that there's like green tea flecks in here. You wanted to see that. See that? Yeah, so it's just a nice gel. It says it's foaming. I don't think it's super foaming, which is actually a good thing, because foam cleansers can tend to strip your skin 
a little bit. I keep it in my shower. So after I use an oil cleanser or if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'll just use this in the shower when I take a shower. Going along with that is this moisturizer. It's the Green Tea Moisturizing Balance and Moisturizer. I was really impressed because dimethicone wasn't one of the first few ingredients that I saw in here. It's very lightweight. It has a lot of good antioxidants in it. It's hydrating, but it's not greasy, and it goes beautifully under your makeup or under your SPF. Really good price point for pretty decent ingredients at a readily available location. Check these out next time you're in Target. It was available at my Target, but if not, you can probably find it online as well. Going with that, this was also sent in the same package. I don't think I saw this at Target. I'll have to find out where I got it. It's the Make Prem Moisturizing Serum, no, Moisturizing Sunblock UV Defense Me. This is a SPF 50, and it is a sunblock that is a serum, which I thought was really nice. So it comes in a pump, and it comes out like this. It's like a gel texture, but when you rub it in, it blends into your skin like water. I thought that was really lovely, very lightweight. So if you guys don't like sunblock, you might enjoy this because it is so lightweight and feels like a serum that just absorbs into the skin. Now, this is beautiful underneath makeup because of that. There is a scent to it, and it has that sunblock scent. So if that bothers you, definitely be aware of that. When I first applied it, that was like the one thing I was like, ooh, I wish it didn't have that fragrance. But you know what? It is an amazing lightweight, high SPF. So definitely check this out as well if you're looking for something that is very serum-y and like almost water. SPF 50, wear it every day. I recently discovered this new skincare line called Image Skincare, and this has been around for a while, but they are a professional line, so typically sold to professionals, um, other dermatologists or skincare specialists. I kind of wish I did a before picture of my neck because I've been using this for maybe three weeks now. I was blown away at the results. So this is the Max Stem Cell Neck Lift. You get two fluid ounces. It's like a creamy texture, like a thick creamy texture, but it absorbs nicely onto the skin. I'm gonna put some on my neck right now. Especially where I have a line, like you can see right there. Every night after my skincare routine, and this line has diminished tremendously on me. Incredibly impressive. I've already seen some results. But I can't wait to see what happens if I continuously use this until like this bottle is gone. It's magic. If you have necklines or if you're starting to notice necklines because of being on the phone all the time, uh, highly recommend this. This lip balm, something I like to use in the daytime when I want my lips to look a little juicier and plumper. This is the Sheer Pink Lip Enhancing Complex. They have a tinted one, and then which is this one, and then they have a regular one that has no tint. This makes my lips look fuller and plumper and just really like, it looks like I got my lips done. It doesn't sting, it doesn't tingle, it doesn't feel like anything other than hydration and a little bit of a gloss. I was so impressed because I put this on in the morning and then I was like vlogging throughout the day and I was looking at myself in the camera and I was kind of like, whoa, like I look like I went and got my lips done, but like well, like not overly done, just like something happened. And I was so impressed with this. I actually like it because I don't like that menthol feel. I don't like it feeling all spicy and tingly. Very, very impressed with this and I am kind of addicted. I like using it in the mornings because then I feel like my lips look all like pretty for the rest of the day. So if you watch my testing Amazon bestseller beauty products, which I think I'm gonna do another one very soon. This is from that video and I've been using it ever since. It's the Organi's Lash and Brow Booster Serum. I think it actually works. I don't think that it works as quickly as Latisse or as like crazy as Latisse, but Latisse has a lot of side effects and I used to use Latisse and it's also quite pricey. So the Organis is a lot more affordable. It's easily readily available via Amazon and there aren't any side effects that I have noticed yet and it doesn't sting my eyes. Just do one coat here, one coat here. I've even started to apply a little bit on my lower lash line because they say it's safe to do that. And I've noticed my lashes have less fallout. It's definitely longer and fuller. And I've noticed that mascara just looks better with using the serum. And I've only used like this much of it. So you can get probably a couple months use out of one of these tubes. My cellar water I have been testing out and using for the month is from Pacifica. This is the Coconut Water Micellar Cleansing Tonic. 
I think it's good. I use cleansing waters in the mornings when I wake up. I don't wash my face typically because I do have drier skin and I find I don't need a full cleanse. I like using a cotton pad with micellar water to remove any of my serums or moisturizers that are still left on the skin and maybe a little drool and sweat from sleeping. I think this is actually only available at Ulta, but Pacifica is also available at Target, just not their entire range. There is a heavy fragrance to it. It smells very coconutty. If you don't like that, you probably won't like this. So be aware of that when you purchase this. The fragrance is, does dissipate after you use the product. It's not something that stays with you. All of their fragrances are pretty sensitive skin um, approved. There's nothing harmful in their products. I like it. I'm going to keep using it. Along with that, I've also been using the In Transit No Traces This Works. This is alcohol free. It's filled with rose water and water mint infused natural cotton pads. Gently remo removes makeup and daily pollution. So I like to use this at the end of the day. You can grab one of these rounds. They're kind of textured, but not super textured. They're really refreshing. They smell like rose water and cucumber. And I just kind of remove my makeup that way. Um, it doesn't remove everything with just one pad. I use maybe two to three pads to remove all of my makeup, and then I go in and wash my face. But I like this if I'm going to switch up my makeup or if I didn't wear a lot and I kind of just want to remove the grime from the day, and it just smells really refreshing and nice. A new brand that I've been trying out is the Apothecary 90291, and this is the 05 Marine Algae Repairing Mask. This is a powder mask that you add either some toner or some warm water and you mix up and then you apply it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes and then you rinse off. This made my skin feel really detoxified. It really felt cleansed. It made my skin feel really soft and glowy as soon as I removed it. This line is really, really clean. They bring the highest efficacy and potent natural ingredients to you. A little goes a long way and I definitely noticed a difference. I really don't like the way this smells. This smells like seaweed and really, really strong seaweed. So while it's really good for my skin, it smells awful in my personal preference. But you know what? I like that they didn't cover it with fragrance. I like that they didn't fill it with a bunch of things to make it pretty or smell nice. I just, I think it's really effective ingredients and really effective products. This is marine algae, so it should smell like marine algae. You guys know I love my Schmitz deodorant. I use the Sensitive Skin Formula. This scent is my favorite right now. This is the Jasmine Tea for Sensitive Skin, and Hubs even has started to use Schmitz. He uses the regular formula. The Jasmine Tea, though, is Sensitive Formula. It smells so good. It smells just like jasmine tea. And my favorite thing about Schmitz is not only do I not smell, it works well. I find that throughout the day, I'll get a whiff of the fragrance of my deodorant. And I'm just like, ooh, that smells good. Converted Karina Hubs uses Schmitz now. I use Schmitz fully. So I think they do really good fragrances, a really good product that's effective. And on top of that, they're not overly priced. Like some of these natural ingredient products can be kind of expensive. And this one I feel like is pretty fair. They range anywhere between four to $8 and they have a couple different formulas. I highly recommend you guys checking out Schmitz if you're trying to look into a more natural deodorant option. Oh, I also converted V because she was able to find this at Target. My other thing about Schmitz is if you order online and you don't like it, you can return it. They have an amazing customer service policy and an amazing return policy because they really want you to love what you're buying and love what you're using. I also interviewed Jamie Schmidt, who is the founder and creator of Schmidt's Naturals. So if you guys want to listen to that interview, it's available on my podcast, which is always linked in the description box and on my channel main page. And it's completely free for you guys to download and listen. Jamie had some amazing things to say and kind of how the brand started from very humble beginnings. Let's talk about some makeup. I am currently wearing this lip gloss. It's my, it might be gone already, but this is from Make. I really enjoy this lip gloss because it's not sticky. It's not overly goopy or thick. It's the Luminous Lip Gloss in the shade F. E2 or 5604. Um, I'll figure out what the shade is and I'll link it in the description box below. Also, I've been loving the Make Blush. I'm wearing it today. This is in the shade Bisque. 
It's a really beautiful powder blush. I love the packaging too because it's very simple, very chic and thin, good for travel. And it's a really pretty like mauve rose tone blush that is great for every single day. And it blends nicely, especially on my dry areas right there. If you watch my Sephora haul from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale or sale, I finally picked up the Eye and Brow Mastro from Armani. This is good for brows and for your eyeliner. And I thought that was really kind of cool to be able to use one product for both. I've really been loving this for my brows. I'm using it again today. It does a really beautiful soft brow. You can definitely carve out your brow a little bit more with this, but this fills in my brows. It also kind of grooms my brows and tames them because it is a pomade. And I also used this as an eyeliner when I was traveling. I like it. I think it's a great product. Why not when you can do two in one? So if you're my coloring, 02 Wedgwood would be your shade. A lot of times when I buy eyeliner or brow product in this kind of formulation, it's gonna dry out before I get through it. So when I can do two in one, I feel like it's going to, hopefully, I'm going to get more use out of it before it goes dry on me. The cream blush I have been loving is from Lila B, and this is in the shade B Lovely. It's a lip and cheek duo. I like to use this with a stippling brush from Eco Tools on my cheeks. I use it on my eyelids. I also use it on my lips. It is the best little all-in-one pot. It's the perfect shade Be Lovely. I also love how adorable this little container is, but it's like the perfect blendable creamy texture it's creamy but it also dries down nicely but it still has that cream like luminosity to it so really really love this i recently went to new york to meet with luxme and they have a new product out that i'm so happy to have discovered i love their original melt they provide fair wages to women to source the nalotica nut and Nilotica has a lot of great antioxidants. It's very similar to shea butter, but even more potent, more hydrating, and more full of nutrient ingredient in there. But what they did with this product is they took the Nilotica and they mixed it with a shimmer. It looks a little scary pink, but I promise you guys it's not because it blends out beautifully and it's really hydrating. So you can use this as a base or you can use it as a highlight, and I just used way too much. But when you blend it out, it just creates this beautiful glow on the skin. So you're going to love this underneath your makeup. You're gonna love it even as, on its own. And I like to use it just on my cheekbones when I'm wanting a little natural highlight. I have been using this bronzer from Botanical Farms. It's really fun. I'm wearing it again today. It's very natural. The blendability is really soft. There's nothing too warm about it, nothing too shimmery. You can add a little shimmer by using the shimmery side on that end, but I just use this as like an all over warmth, especially since it's getting like kind of gloomy. I hope this lighting's okay. I got a new camera during Black Friday and I hope that everything is set okay. I've also been playing with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and coming up very soon, I will be doing five looks using this palette. My favorite shade is this one, which is Throne. I created this beautiful smoky green look. I wore it again last night. And then you can create really beautiful golden warm looks. And there's just a lot of fun varieties. I wanted to challenge myself with this palette by creating five distinct looks for you guys and for myself. And since doing that video, I have just been loving this palette. If you were kind of tempted to get it, I definitely recommend it. And of course, that video will be up where I share with you guys my different looks, and maybe that will let you have a better idea of whether or not it is something you would want. So keep an eye out. Hey guys, so I'm in a different outfit. It's night now. I was literally editing today's video, and I got a new camera, and technical difficulties, it stopped recording, so I didn't get to finish this video. I'm gonna go through the last little bit really quickly. Thank you for bearing with me. I also noticed when editing the first part of the video was really gray. Please bear with me. I swear I'll figure out this new camera. I completely switched from Canon to Sony, so no excuses, just learning as we go. My nails. I have been loving the Sally Hansen gel polishes for a while now, but I really love this new little thing that they came out with, which is to make them chrome. And it's essentially just like a shimmery powder, a 
salon chrome like special effects top coat so what I did was I first painted my nails with the black gel polish in blackie O. I did two really thin coats and then I went in with this little kit which looks like this this is a different one with like a blue tint this one was just like clear and a little sponge and I applied the powder over it and then you go in with the special effects top coat and then you finish it off with the gel coat. That sounds like a lot of work. It really wasn't that bad. And I think for my first go, they look really nice and it was able to give me like a more salon effect. I have been really enjoying these Ollie supplements. I love them so much that I went to Target and bought myself my multivitamin from Ollie. So they sent me the sleep and the stress ones and I love the way they taste. They're really easy to take because a lot of times for stress or for sleep, I don't have water with me. So for the stress one, I just packed a couple in my carry-on and I took two on the plane so I didn't have to wait for the flight attendant to come and give me water. I could just start chewing them when I was stressed. And then for the sleep one, Hubs and I both like to take this before bedtime. It has a lot of melatonin in it which helps us naturally kind of just fall asleep and stay asleep. I don't feel groggy in the morning so I really love melatonin for those nights when I'm just really anxious, really stressed and can't shut my mind off. If you are looking for anything like that, check them out. They are available at Target, but also they didn't have everything. Like they didn't have the stress one at my Target. Yeah, they also make kids ones. So if you have kids, I know it's really hard to get your kids to take their vitamins, but gummies, they taste so good and they're so easy to take. You don't have to have water with them. Two fashion bits to share with you. I have this shirt I've just been lounging in a lot and I finally just washed it. I washed it a couple times, but this is, it says happiest in London. I thought it was really cute. It's a nice gray long sleeve. It's really soft. It's, it feels like a sleep shirt, but it fits really nicely and fitted with a little bit of give so that I, you know, it, it doesn't hug too much. And they have a bunch of different sayings. So they do happiest in New York, Los Angeles. I pick London because I truly love London, especially this time of year. If there was a way for us to live in London for a while, I would totally do it. And I can't wait to visit again. So one of my favorite places. This cardigan that I have literally been living in, this is from Urban Outfitters. I believe it's currently sold out but I will link something similar and if it comes back in stock, I'll let you know via my Insta stories. This is just like the perfect bathrobe essentially, but appropriate to wear out. The maxi cardigan, so it goes all the way down, but it has like the cutouts. You don't look overly um, consumed by the cardigan. And I love the sleeves because it has little like balloon sleeves and it's just super nice and cozy. I wore it to New York in my New York vlog, so you can see it. I love it, it's so, so cozy. The thing is it's kind of hard to wash because it absorbs all the water and it's really hard to like wring out the water. Those are two of my fashion pieces. Clearly, I've been really into being cozy and comfortable lately. The book I've been reading is the newest Throne of Glass series, which is Tower of Dawn. I listened to it by Audible. It's one of my favorite series. Um, by Sarah J Mass. I also am obsessed with a Court of Thorn and Roses series that kind of wrapped up. They're gonna segue the storyline into some of the other characters. I don't know how I feel yet because I'm on chapter 9 out of 69 on the latest Throne of Glass series. I'm just excited to kind of see where it goes. I haven't been going through books as quickly just because I've been really busy and I don't drive as much alone anymore. If you guys remember I used to go through like a book or two a month and that was because I was driving down to the hospital a lot um, so now I don't I'm in the car a lot but I'm not in the car for prolonged periods of time by myself anymore I don't go through books as much but I've I'm I'm listening to that one currently so if you want to listen along I will link the book in the description box that's everything I've been loving for November thank you so much for watching as always I just hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in I know when I look and feel my best I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me and if that speaks to you I'm really happy you found this channel and if anything, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos and that's why I started this channel. And I hope I was able to do that for you. Until next time, I'll see you guys right back here in my new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But starting December 1st, there'll be a new video a day until Christmas Eve. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, ask me any questions. I do my best to respond. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!